So as bushcrafters, we disagree about many things, whether it's axes, women, knives. We don't tend to find too many common grounds that we can actually agree upon. Some people believe in having no axe. Some people believe in having no women. Some people believe in just only using a knife. But something that unites bushcrafters as a whole is coffee. Now, there are many flavors, many blends, many brands, and that is going to be what this series is all about. We're going to be taking a look at some of my personal favorites when it comes to coffee, and we're also going to be exploring other realms of coffee to find the best bushcrafting coffee. One that is easy to carry, affordably priced, but yet still offers a very rich taste and a very wholesome experience while you're out bushcrafting because when you're out bushcrafting nothing helps give you that boost of energy that shot of energy like a little bit of caffeine now in this particular video this is going to be served serving as a overview of the starbucks vias as well as kind of a review for the columbia blend now i'm going to be taking a look at every starbucks via blend there is because i want to know personally not just from my own uh, from my own experience, but I want to experience all of the blends that Starbucks Vias have to offer to kind of determine which one is the best of the Starbucks Vias if you're gonna go out and get one. Now as you guys can see, I have my little jet boil running in the background here, boiling up some water. It's not quite to temperature. But we're gonna give it a few minutes and then we're gonna dump the Starbucks Via. Now while we're still waiting for this to come to temperature, I'm gonna talk about why I love Starbucks Vias so much. Now, if you guys have been around the channel, you'll know that Starbucks Vias are kind of my go-to when it comes to bushcraft coffee. And that is because they are in an airtight, sealed bag straight out of the way or pack it probably you could call it that this is how they come from factory they have an amazing shelf life they are in my opinion moderately expensive because they're usually they end up right around a dollar per packet so for me it's a little bit expensive but i also these kind of fall into the cliff bar rule where i'm generally only using them in a bushcrafting setting or outdoor camping setting so i don't mind going the extra mile paying a little bit more because i'm not going to be using them every single day this is not my you know go to wake up in the morning make starbucks via no this is something that i really just use bushcrafting so <clears throat> anyways uh that tends to be why i like these starbucks vias like i said they're in a very slim package they have everything you need right here to make one cup of coffee, and because there's so much to this packet, you can make a pretty good sized cup of coffee. I mean, I can make this entire 0.8, it's nearly a liter of water into good tasty coffee uh, just with this one packet. So anyways, those have been some of the reasons why I like the Starbucks Vias, but we are going to be giving other brands such as the Black Rifle Coffee Company and several others. Uh, some, some shots at instant coffee. We're also going to be looking at going further on uh, We're going to be looking at doing some different presses for grounds uh, For coffee because we want to go high class But we want to start off with the easy and most basic and the most realistic thing that a bushcrafter is going to carry Okay, so I got that added. Now, while I let this sit here and uh, brew up, um, like I was saying, this is the taste for the taste test for the best coffee, the best instant coffee, and overall coffees are all going to be done unhindered without any additives or any type of special boosters. The reason why is I want the complete taste of the coffee because. I don't want any I don't want any additives because I want to make sure that it's just the coffee alone. And oftentimes, I don't know about a lot of you guys, maybe you designer coffee guys, bushcrafters, <laughs> like to you know measure out and be very precise. But a lot of the times when I'm out in the woods, I just bring coffee with me and I just like it raw and natural. As natural as it is. So 
that being said, I'm going to let this brew up, come back to you guys with it, and kind of give you a taste or opinion on the Columbia. Now, as a note, this is one of my go-to Starbucks Vias, so the taste is probably going to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so the first thing I have to say about the taste and why I've been repeatedly drawn back to Starbucks Vias for coffee is the quality. Now, I'm not going to say that these are the cheapest instant coffees because I do find them a little bit spendy, especially some of the more specialized blends like the Veranda, but the thing that I love most about these Starbucks Vias is they just, from the smell to the taste, they smell like something and they taste like something you'd get at Starbucks. I mean, I'm sure they've spent thousands of dollars in research to make sure that it is that way, but either way I really like that like honestly this feels like or smells like tastes like something that if I was to go to Starbucks today I'm not saying I'm the biggest fan of Starbucks but you know they do make a good coffee at least in my opinion you know for a kind of chain store I should say but honestly getting back to it it sounds like or this tastes like something it smells like something that if I was to go to Starbucks and ask for you know like a 20 ounce you know coffee a Columbia blend it, it would smell and taste exactly like this. So the fact that they've managed to capture that in an instant form is what keeps me coming back to Starbucks Vias time and again. That being said, it's really a hard taste to explain. Probably not the best at this, but honestly, if you do like a Columbia blend, this tastes exactly like a Columbia, a Columbia blend. Yeah, if I can speak. A Columbia blend that you would get at Starbucks. It tastes very rich and I really like that uh, because this is only a medium blend so there's your medium roast I should say so of course in Starbucks or not Starbucks <laughs> in coffee you have you know light roasts dark roasts medium roasts in this uh, Columbia is a medium roast and it tastes it has such a dark and very rich flavor for it for being a medium it's, it's kind of funny every time I drink a Columbia I always think it's a dark roast because of how full the body tastes to it but it is just a medium roast and that means at least for me uh, on my flavor palette what I like most about Columbia's is they have a lot of that bold very deep taste to them but they don't have that level of acidity that a lot of dark roasts come with at least like I said from what how I taste things, dark roasts tend to taste very acidic and very punchy to me. And I like the punchy, but I don't necessarily like that acid. It kind of leaves an, a bad taste in my mouth unless I'm, you know, uh, putting something in the coffee itself to kind of take that level of acidity off the top. I really don't like dark roasts. So that's, what, that's why one of my staples as a bushcrafting and outdoors uh, coffee roast I like the Columbia because it has still a very full and hearty taste to it but without having that kind of disgusting acid taste at least in my opinion so anyways that's how I taste it and uh, I really like this one it's definitely one of my favorites I think overall because I you know I'm not necessarily new to the instant coffee game or the coffee game as a whole I think this is probably gonna be one of the higher placements now there still are quite a few um, roasts and blends that I haven't taste tested from Starbucks via or instant coffees as a whole like I'm pretty excited to uh, test out some of the Black Rifle Coffee Company instant coffees so interesting or I'm interested to see how those will taste as well but this is pretty stiff competition in my opinion the Columbia is just such a good roast in my opinion so yeah so that's what I have to say about the Columbia roast it's a really good one and at least at this point, even though this is just the first one, I would highly encourage you guys checking out the Columbia Roast from Starbucks Vias. If you haven't checked out the Via line at all, I would also highly encourage it. It's what I've been using for years, and while I will be expanding my horizons and looking at other stuff, I think is a good entry level for just having some easy coffee where all you have to do is boil up a pot of water. It doesn't have to be on a jet boil. You know, it can be over a fire. I've cooked or not cooked, but I've made many a Starbucks via over an open fire, so it certainly does not have to be in a jet boil. I just think for continuity's sake and for the ease of making these videos, uh, I'm just using the jet boil because it gets the water up fast without a whole lot of, you know, having to haul in wood or have a wood fire. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and let me know in the comments section below what you think of this kind of coffee series. I really want to try to make this a regular because I've realized that there's a lot of different coffees out there to taste test and a lot to understand.
and I think this would be a really fun series to go down the road for. I know there are quite a few coffee junkies that watch the videos and always are talking about coffee, so it's like, you know what, time to just let you guys let you guys have at it, have your own series that is actually fully devoted to bushcraft and coffee, because I know you guys love that stuff. Anyways, this is all for now. Hopefully you guys find a nice roast in a nice place. Enjoy your own coffee. As always, God bless, and I'm out.